Howdy folks, and welcome to Sketchbook Trap. Well, really quick one today. What if you have a circle, and you need to find out what the middle of it is? We're going to learn how to do that today. Here's a good way to find the middle of a circle. All you need is a compass and a ruler. To begin with, let's draw any line that crosses two points on the edge of the circle. And I'll make sure that it's definitely not in the center, just for proof of concept here. There. So, the first thing we'll do is we'll find the center of the line. To do that, we will take the compass and we'll set it to a width that is wider than the, um, wider than the halfway point on this line. The middle is probably going to be mm, rounded here somewhere, so let's set the width to over this direction. Crank it down. All right, so I'm gonna make a little mark here. We're going about 90 degrees to the line. We'll come to the other side, set another mark. Nothing fancy, just a couple little curves. And then we'll set the needle on point B and we'll do the same thing. Cross our line here, and then we'll cross our second curve. And you'll see this gives us two points. So if we connect those points, that gives us, that gives us a line right here that crosses the center of this, uh, of L1. We next need a second line that once again, crosses two points on the circle. So I'll pick a line right about here. There we go. We'll call this one L2. And now we'll take our compass and set it to a width that's once again wider than the halfway point of L2, which will be somewhere in here. Put you out right about here and tighten you down. That's definitely wider than halfway. And we'll put our first curve on this side over about 90 degrees. And then we'll come over and put a little bit of a mark at roughly 90 degrees. Then we'll do exactly the same thing from point B2. And you can see, I didn't quite make my mark long enough. So we'll come back and make that mark longer in a second. But there I crossed my point. So we didn't cross there, so let's come back to A2. Lengthen that a little. Comes right to there. So now, now we can cross these two lines. is L2 right there. We now have our second center point. And these two points aim towards the exact center of the circle. So we'll place our needle on the center point, set our width, make it nice and dark here so everybody can see. And I can see we're the same width all the way around. And that's how you find the center of a circle. And a lot of times this can be done on a piece of tracing paper so you don't mess up your original art. 
and then that center point can be transferred. Some use cases for this can be that you need to work from the center or in the center. Perhaps you're doing some concentric circles. Um, maybe you're building a design that accepts a circular object or a background painting that needs the center to be clear. You can use it for designing cutouts, centering text without a computer, but heck, just knowing is fun enough, right? That's it for this one. Hope you have a happy new year celebration and hope this coming new year helps us all find our center. Thanks for hanging out and sketching with me, and I'll be back next time to trap more stuff in our sketchbook.